Okay, start into run. Hey, hey TGIF. You know what? We are being blessed with some more good weather in Chicagoland coming up this weekend. And we're also being blessed today with being here with everyone and being able to talk about some really interesting topic. And I, I'm excited because I got to spend some time with Lori yesterday, which was amazing. And we always love to talk. And we, we were talking about the subject that we're going to talk about today. And we're going to kind of gear it towards the holidays as well as in life in general. And so without starting anything more, I just want to say, Lori, you look great. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I might love my new hairstyle, Debbie. Yay. So five layers on, I'm so happy. I feel so much, I'm like 10 pounds lighter today. Oh, you look fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time yesterday. Um, we're going to talk about empathy and talk about empathy burnout and how not to get to that point. but. You know, I was doing some research on this, and Debbie got this article that we're going to read off of, but there's a lot on empathy on there. There's even on YouTube, YouTube's how to talk to your children about being empathetic, which is really great. I would suggest you use that for reference. But, you know, empathy, in case anybody really doesn't understand what it is, empathy is when you feel the pain or you feel what somebody else is going through and mm -hmm. how you feel part of it even though you're really not a part of it you feel part of it so you take on the role of being a caregiver being there for that person but you also feel like you're part of that situation and you know i i was having a hard time with that at first and i thought well I guess it is true because you do make it a part of you when when you're empathetic to somebody mm -hmm. you know your um your you have empathy for people like in foreign countries when you read articles about them and Africa and all that. I mean you have empathy when you actually see a child get hurt at the playground or or somebody feeling pain. You see a man and a woman arguing, you start feeling that pain. What was really interesting when I was this reading today and I was watching on YouTube, Debbie is you have to really watch with that because some lady was talking about how she met this woman and she found out this woman went through some tragic stuff as a young child and the lady went through details of what had happened to her and she said every time she thought of that woman she started feeling the pain right of the empathy of the pain that the lady was going through as a child, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like that the people that suffer with empathy problems are people that are in the health industry, doctors, mm -hmm. because they have to have their relationship in, their, in, uh, in their patients, but they also, they become empathetic and they take on the pain. So they have to learn how to detach a little bit from it. Debbie, you could go on and see what else we could talk about with this. Well, you know what? It's it's a very heavy subject. We like both when we were talking yesterday, we were kind of like, okay, there's like 15 angles you could go at with this, really. So I think we're gonna kind of probably bounce back and forth a little bit and that hopefully won't confuse a lot of people. And again, remember, Lori and I are not experts in any subject we choose. We take the subject because we want to actually learn more ourselves and we feel like we can open up our eyes and open up others. And I think one of the biggest things right now that Lori said prior to what starting that made a lot of sense is you have to attend to your own suffering first so that you can be better. And Lori used the perfect example of like when you're on an airplane and God forbid you need to, you need to get that air first so that you can turn around and help other people. And so I think the life support system is huge. And I think, you know, I mean, I've always been an avid love to read person and I, I got to have a really major, and Lori, you got to help me with this. I got to have a major, major New Year's goal to read some more books and self-help and self-awareness and positive mental attitude and anything at all because our everyday lives have so much around us okay it can also be empathy for someone who's going through an illness and if you're a caregiver and you're feeling so horrible because you might have to deliver the news to them you know there's there's all kinds of stuff you know and so but like with the holidays coming up 
I just want to throw this out here and then Lori, you can tag team and go on and we can, you know, bounce around. You guys, you may get yourself in some situations because when you're like face to face with some of the family members, you may have some of those family members that kind of like, like, like to kind of complain a lot, you know, and then, but you care because you know about what they're going through. Right. But yet we want to have the holidays be a blessing. We're, we're getting our family members together. Finally, after all this time that we've had away from people. And so sometimes we have to learn how to kind of separate it a little bit and try to like, I don't want to say stop it and be rude, but try to bring it around. Okay. And when you're that person that's trying to help that other person, it goes back to helping yourself first so that you have enough like in your your positiveness or your like energy that you can like throw it back. So the only way that I'm seeing and I'm believing this and correct, tell me, Lori, what you think is that we constantly need to kind of make sure that we got ourselves in check. OK, and we have our, you know, our prayer life, our spiritual life, our, our positiveness, our whatever and our our health and energy in a good spot because if you come against somebody that maybe is a little bit more than you know you, and you want to be there for them but yet sometimes it can be very difficult and so I want to encourage everybody to try to you know and and one thing I know that like Lori and I even talked about this yesterday when we were together about like if you're in a situation somebody is really maybe they're kind of being a and I, Debbie Downer and kind of like bringing down stuff, try to lift it back up and try to like change the subject, but maybe say to them, listen, I understand you got a lot you're going through. Maybe I could grab a cup of coffee with you, or maybe we can, you know, get together, like separated away from this. And let's, let's, let's focus on the positive. Let's have fun together. Let's just try to like, like forget about our worries and, and that kind of thing. So I hope that that like doesn't get like so confusing, but I think it kind of just all this stuff is like almost wrapped around in one subject and it's, it's very heavy, you know, what do you think, Laura? Very heavy, you know, for people that have chronic illnesses, which I understand, they will always look for the empathetic part because they want to, sometimes they want to get rid of the feeling they feel inside and they need to talk about it. But again, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer for the holiday. I want to be more positive and everything. So I think you need to practice some skills. You need to practice some skills on what to do when you're overwhelmed with the whole thing, with, with everything going on, um, with somebody that is really needs empathy and somebody that's going through a lot. Ask God to help you get through it. But the thing is, you need to practice. And there's a lot of things on YouTube that can help you with that. Like Debbie say, oh, I'd love to get a cup of coffee with you. We'll have to go next week or whatever. But, you know, because it is really not fair to everybody that um, there's an issue. And, you know, like Debbie says, let's make it the best holiday we could do. And we can do that. But mm -hmm. we need it feels ahead of time. Even if it's just you talking in a mirror or something. Because situations are going to happen and you got to know how to handle it. Right. 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 I was just going to say, throw something in there real quick, you guys, like um, for holidays and stuff, try to have some back burner things to do. Like, let's just say that, that the party is getting a little bit like, okay, things are happening. Have a game set up already on the side. <laughs> like, so you can engage people to get their mind off of it. Let's face it, you guys. I am not going to say, and Lori and I are definitely going to tell you that we don't, it's not like we have this perfect, wonderful picture of things happening in our lives all the time. You know, we've got things that we go through and we deal with on an everyday basis and with family members and everything else. We're trying to get creative. We're leaning on all this stuff to get ideas as well. And I think sometimes you need to have like things that we can kind of like pull out of our little like hat, like, okay, let's play a game <laughs> and, yeah. and let's, let's not, let's take our worries what's going to happen for that time that you're together? It's not going to change if you keep talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Right, Laura? Exactly. And, you know, it's really important, too, for your kids, you know, to teach them what empathy is. And, and yes. And what, again, there is a lot of stuff on YouTube out there, and I'm sure there's books, too. You know, and, and the thing is, because we're all together for this holiday, everybody has high expectations, but we need to deal with how to handle everything, you know? Um, like, for example, somebody in the family starts problems every time you get together. 
Mm-hmm. And holiday comes and everybody's like, oh, I don't want to do this because I don't want to have to deal with that person. And so what you need to do is we need to talk to a person and say, hey, you know, you know, we always have issues every year. Let's figure out a way to handle this better. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. But be empathetic when you're talking to them. Say, hey, you know, I really understand what you're going through. And maybe I don't. But in this case, we got to make sure we're positive for everybody in the family. Totally. And and you know what? You, you, you nailed it, too, with the kids. We got to handle these situations really good. OK, um, Mariana was talking about something that happened at school and he was telling me how the kids around him handled it. And I was like, kudos to you. I'm glad you guys handled it that way. You didn't make that pe- person feel, you know, awkward, you know, with what the kid was talking about and doing. I'm telling you right now, the kids these days. How about it, Lori? The kids these days are so smart. That, so- like you talk about your grandkids, my grandson, they are in tune with so much because of the Internet. But then you guys also. I don't mean to start a whole nother subject here because I know we could do the one on this one and it's a bad subject. Um, but it's also just watch the internet and watch the, 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 the consumption that they have and make sure that everything's pure so that they're not getting any bad stuff because there's some very scary things out there and the internet, for, especially for the children. But, you know, I think that if you really want to get down to it, you know, we don't want to be burnt out. That's our whole like focus. You know, we don't want to be burnt out with everything we were doing. And you all probably have some chronic warriors in your life. Okay. And I have a few. Okay. And a lot of the chronic warriors will worry and repeat themselves over and over and over and over. And I feel like these are the ones that we, we are, they suck a lot of energy out of you. Right, Laura? And I feel like, honest to God, we need to just put get our tanks of energy up you know and and know that we can conquer it and when when you come across one of them you just do the best you can and try to wrap them back around to being positive and you know and i'll tell you what another one hallmark channel movies and stuff get some of those people away from their thoughts and get them on the hallmark channel or get them on some fun christmas christmas movies and if you can't get the games going right so well, the idea, Debbie, about, oh, sorry, about uh, the whole thing about, you know, the family and the games to distract everybody from what they're going through. Because that's what the holiday's about. All right. Get together and stuff. And yes, you can be empathetic to the people that are there, but engage them in a different way. And I think they'll really enjoy that because they get rid of the thought of their problems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And I really think that the subject that we have here, we could probably talk and talk and talk and talk. And I feel like I, I feel like really right now, if anybody out there is listening to this, okay, and the, and you've got some source of energy that you have that that you use, or some source of like books, or some source of like something that you have come in contact with, feel free to send a little note on the comments underneath this because it coordinates with it because we love hearing the feedback you know we love hearing what you may use or maybe you've got you know some you know thought that you do you know because i'm sure a lot of the stuff we just talked about everyone goes through you know i think so too and you know i mean everybody has somebody in the family that has issues or whatever but that's what family's there for we're supposed to be together we're supposed to help and lift each other up so again, I don't, I want to say, Debbie, that it's a great idea about the games and keeping everybody engaged and something fun. Also, what's great too, I think it would be great, is if you did the grateful jar and you put the paper down and you wrote what you were grateful for and put it in a in a vase or you can put mm-hmm. it in something. Mm-hmm. Just take them out and read. you don't have to say who they're from. Just read them. And and love people for where they're at, okay? Because right now, maybe they will pull out of their situation and in turn, turn around and help you later someday. You know, you don't know, you know? And I always encourage people, if they're going through something, you know, crappy, 
Cause you know, some, a lot of times my clients will talk to me a lot and I'm, I'm so loving that, that if they feel comfortable talking to me about something that's going on and I try to be very, very generic because I don't want to like lead or guide them in some way. But sometimes there's people that have some very stru- big struggles they're going through. And I always say, you know, I know everything happens for a reason, but you know, sometimes these struggles put you in a position so you can turn around and help someone else. And yeah. that's, that's what the, well, another big part of our message is today. We want you to know that, like, I mean, sometimes you'd be like, why, 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 why is this happening? And then all of a sudden you realize that all of a sudden down the road, you know, look at some of the authors and we don't want to like forget saying somebody's name, but some of the authors that we have like interviewed who have all helped people in so many ways, but they, they had struggles they dealt with first, you know, that's, that's why they are able to write their book, <laughs> you know? And not every author that we've interviewed has been a book about a struggle, but there are a lot, and we do have more coming that we're going to interview. So I'm excited about that. But, me too. You know, this is a great subject. I suggest again that you go on YouTube and look at some of the stuff. You you can listen to it while you're doing stuff around the house, but it was pretty interesting. Um, Absolutely. But again, you know, every family has somebody that needs to be, be feel compassion for and again it's a learning learning process either people are too loving and giving like debbie and i are or they're not they're like the complete opposite you got to come up with that happy medium right right you know right and i'll tell you what guys again like we said we're no experts but man every time Lori and i talk about a subject like, like this it, what we read and what we talk about helps us deal with things as well you know so with that Laura what do you think I think we, we we covered a lot of stuff and I think that you know everybody I hope that this is the first weekend of December I hope that everybody can have fun I hope you have your decorations up actually we talked about it the other day please send us your Christmas tree pictures we love seeing them we love seeing the, the creativity we love seeing things going on we'll be sending some pictures out as well and um I don't know Laura you want to close us out you know Okay, everyone, have a great weekend. Enjoy the weekend. Don't get stressed out if you're going shopping. Don't spend some time with your kids, your grandkids, and just have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather. And with that, I'm Lori. And I'm Debbie. And we're friends, healthy friends. Take care. Happy Friday. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Take care.